Hey all, welcome to Share Trek. This is Raj here, friends. Uh, I have taken part in a contest, paper trading contest uh, with uh, Trading View, and the interesting thing is that uh, I would be uh, trading on uh, tickers that I have never dealt with before. So I'm just going to show you where I stand in this whole competition. I started, I joined it six days ago. There are others who have been at it from before. Um, and um, I have some trades that I'm going to make and I want to run the rationale through to you. So it'll just be entertaining. So just watch this and give me your feedback. What you think about these five or six uh, tickers that I'm allowed to invest in. With that said, Let's get started. So this contest is happening on the TradingView platform and they call it The Leap. So there is a $25,000 cash prize and six additional months in the current subscription will be added free of cost. So it's a paper trading competition. And this time I thought I'll get involved. I joined them around six days ago. So right now I'm still in the top 1% of the participants, I, my position keeps fluctuating between 290 to 320 or something like that uh, because the last few days after taking profit I have not done anything yet. So the realized profit is what they are looking at. Right now I have a realized profit of 10,912 uh, and the winner so far, I mean the leader so far has a profit of 19,608. That's a realized profit. And the realized profit percentage is 7.87% and I'm at 4.37%. So I got to increase this and go towards 7 and I'm working towards that. There are a total of 59,127 participants in this game. So it's all virtual money. And let me show you where I am with it. So the things that I'm allowed uh, to buy are these symbols. So as you can see here, uh, the text in blue shows you the symbols that I'm allowed to buy. It is uh, BTC USD, Ethereum USD, S&P 500 USD, gold, silver, Euro USD combination, and the Texas screwed. And they have given a maximum limit of how much I can buy. I can buy 0.25 Bitcoin, 5 Ethereum, uh, 8 S&P 500, uh, 17 gold, 650 silver, uh, 88,000 euro and uh, 240 units of uh, Texas crude. So that's what I am allowed to buy. And here is my current position. So my current position is that I have a gain of 10,912 realized. I have an unrealized loss of 2,644. I have been in this game for seven days so far. And um, uh, I am short S&P 500. Uh, and I'll give you a reason why I am short S&P 500. Uh, let me close this out and go into S&P 500. So here we see S&P 500 has come uh, to a kind of um, resistance. So that is point number one. Point number two is if I draw a line out here and if I draw a line here, I can see that there is a bearish divergence out here. So I am thinking that S&P 500 has to give gain, give off its gains. It may not happen today or tomorrow. I may be in a short position for three or four days, but after that, I think it's going to come down. And that's when I plan to close out my position uh, with a profit. So that's the objective that I have out here. So I'll be putting a take profit price uh, so that you know I can make some money out here. So I'm already on the positive right now. So the entry was at least at this point of time, the entry looks good. Uh, I have uh, crude, um, which is um, down 0 0.47.50. Let me show you what WTI crude looks like. So here we are. So this is a diagonal line of resistance below which we have stayed. And this is the candle for today. And if you look at the MACD, it is crossing uh, it's ready to cross over the signal line into the bearish side and momentum is below average and I'm uh, at this point of time uh, looking at a turnaround bounce back from the support at 68.049. So that's my play out here. So I thought that I'm buying it at as low as possible and uh, move upwards. So here we are. Next, I have got gold. I'm long on gold, uh, down 875.99. So let me take you to XAU and show you the chart. So here is the chart. 
and I'm thinking that we are bound for a turn upward uh, at least at uh, 2751 we may bounce off this exponential moving average uh, right now we have uh, a support uh, from the 50 day sorry 100 day exponential moving average and then I'm thinking that out here uh, we have some kind of a support available even before that so that is a potential for a bounce back uh, from uh, 2587 which is this green line uh, unfortunately, I'm already fully invested. I've got all my five units in there, so I can't dollar cost average. So I'll have to patiently wait for gold to come down here and then bounce back up and then take my money out. So that's my situation out there. And then, of course, I have Ethereum and US dollar. So if you look at Ethereum and US dollar, uh, I'm looking at a cup and handle. I'm extremely bullish on Ethereum. And this is our candle today. And we have a support at 3294. Three, three, and uh, when it comes to Ethereum, uh, I still have the ability to buy one more unit. And I have placed an order for that one out here. Uh, where is that? Ethereum USD. Okay, I'll place an order for that. I can buy one more of uh, Ethereum. I'm going to buy it at a lower price. I'm going to buy it closer to 3294.91 so that I can then reap the appreciation. So that's my play with regard to Ethereum. And of course, Bitcoin, I'm, I'm long on Bitcoin. I'm down uh, 1,419 US dollars out here. So if you look at Bitcoin, we have this uh, uh, bullish pennant out here, which we broke out of. And the top part of the pennant is going to perform the role of a bearish support because it's going to allow the price to keep coming down. But my expectation is for it to bounce off from here and move upward again uh, using the support of this diagonal line. So that's my plan. And at this point of time, I can see that the momentum is still already healthy. Uh, the MACD may need some improvements, but Bitcoin is generally volatile. so. I wouldn't be surprised if we had a turnaround. Right now, there is a doji candle out here. It's a green doji candle and it's being pushed down by the nine day exponential moving average. So the first order of business would be to break through the nine day exponential moving average. If I was to go into a, a one day time frame and look at this chart where each candle is a one day chart, we are seeing a little bit of an uptick right now. And um, we we have we, we were on a bull channel before and then we dropped out. So Maybe it's a bit of consolidation and then move back up again. But MACD and momentum in the short term, uh, in the minute range, it doesn't seem that great. But they can change very quickly. In another five minutes, the change can happen. So hope is still alive. So that's what I've been doing with the paper trading game out here. And uh, it's been fun. And uh, one of the lessons that this game teaches is to book your profits. Because if you don't accrue your profits, uh, then they can always be reversed and they can go away. So it's better to accrue the profits and wait for an opportunity to buy. So once you participate in this game, your mindset changes. Right now, the mindset is to buy and sell it at a higher price and, and make a profit while the market is going up. But when you start playing this game, you start thinking long term and you're thinking about waiting with cash to buy at the dip and then let the market take its own course. And this means that you'll be trading less frequently, uh, but uh, each of your trade is going to make a significant contribution to your profits. So that's the way I am thinking based on my experience with this game. Uh, I'd like to hear from you guys. What do you think? Uh, look at the asset classes that I'm dealing with. If you have any ideas, share it with me. I can use that to implement some strategies on the platform. Thanks and have a great day. Bye for now.